Well, hello, how are you? I am in my van. I am back on YouTube. <laughs> I am parked by myself. I don't know why my <laughs> seatbelt is buckled because I'm not gonna go anywhere while I'm making this. But I wanted to hop on here and kind of do an intro video to being back on YouTube. I'm still not sure how many videos I will make, um, but I plan to make some here and there as I can. My house is just as loud, actually louder than it was when I stopped making YouTube <laughs> videos. Um, but yeah, I felt like coming back. So basically I started watching old videos, reminiscing. We've now been in Northern California for five years, which blows my mind that that's, and that was actually in March, that was five years, and now it's June, um, that it's gone by so fast. But anyways, I was reminiscing about our old house and most of my old videos, as y'all know, were made at our old house. So um, I don't know, it was just sweet to see those things and see how life was in so much of our life. I was telling the kids because they watched them with me is like identical now just with bigger children <laughs> like so much of our schedule and our routines and our habits are all the same but um, there's other things that I laugh at and I joke with Jason that I think I peaked back then and <laughs> I don't do the things that I did back then so I, one of my first videos will definitely be updating y'all on all of the things that I have stopped doing that I no longer do um, another update for y'all though is we now have five children. So it's really been sweet to look back on five years ago, six years ago, and I would say that we planned to adopt another child and we weren't sure if that would be through international adoption like we had been saving for since we first got married. Um, I think we, we really thought that's the direction it would go um, or if that would be through foster care. Well, about a year after we moved here, I think it was about a year, we got licensed to do foster care um, because it wasn't a good timing for international adoption because of how young Lucy was and the agencies we were talking to wanted your youngest child to have to be a certain age before you could adopt because international adoption is not um, going to be a baby and so there needed to be it's a long story but age order and all these things and so I think God really used kind of giving us that information from the two agencies that we really wanted to use to uh, kind of challenge us back into foster care. That's something that we've known, that we've done. Y'all know I worked for CPS prior to becoming a stay-at-home mom. So anyways, that's a long story. We, we did foster care again, and as God would have it in his sovereignty, we have adopted our fifth and final child. If you don't follow me on Instagram, drum roll please, it is another boy. <laughs> so his adoption was final um, last summer, and he will turn three this month. So my kids are now nine and a half, almost eight and a half, seven and a half. Lucy, who I shared with y'all my postpartum journey and her is a little tiny baby, is gonna be six in July. And then Hayden is our fifth and final. I just keep saying that. We'll see if God keeps it that way. Um, is born in June. So he's about to celebrate his birthday and he will be three. So my kids are now ages nine through three. It goes by so fast. I love looking back at how little they were and their little voices. Um, yeah, just memory lane to have those videos. Going forward, um, I asked y'all on Instagram for those of you that were like, get back into making videos when I started unprivating my other videos that I had taken down for a while. I said, okay, well give me suggestions on what you wanna see. Cause my one video idea has been to I don't know if I already said this, but to do the video about all the things I no longer do. I think it would be fun to kind of recap those and just share my, you know, where I've fallen off the horse on things. Um, but then also share things that have continued, that have been good habits for our family and that have been, you know, just lasting and valuable for us. Uh, so that'll be one video I do. I already have a running list in my phone and a note of things. I'm like, yep, don't do that anymore. <laughs> don't do that anymore. And Jason and I get a good chuckle. Um, and some of them have challenged me as to like, why aren't you doing that anymore? But I will do that video. Otherwise on Instagram, y'all gave me more than a page worth of, excuse me, video ideas. They're still going to be Stephanie videos. So they're going to be on my iPhone and maybe all of them will be in my car. Maybe that'll be like my thing is that I just sit in my van when I need to talk to y'all. Um, it was pretty mixed on people that wanted, a lot of people wanted day in the lives and a lot of people preferred chatty videos that they could just press play and it was almost more like a podcast while they were cleaning or taking care of their kids or whatever. I will say I'm not, um, I'm not real sure if I do day in the life videos at all, uh, my kids aren't really going to be in them. Like I don't want my kids all over social media. They're in glimpses of my Instagram and that's fine. I'm not like feeling like I need to hide their faces, but I just don't really want them all over YouTube. So 
Anyways, if you are not somebody that gave me ideas on Instagram, then if you have any video ideas you'd like, or even specific videos that you're like, hey, <laughs> like, you know, recreate this one or respond to this one on, you know, versus how it is now, then leave those down below. I hope you all are doing well. I think that is pretty much all of my updates. We have five kids still in Northern California. Jason's been a pastor for longer now. Um, life is good. God is good. And I look forward to talking to y'all again soon.